Welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about polymorphism. You know, for the previous two videos, we did talk about um, encapsulation as well as inheritance. So in this video, we're going to be talking about polymorphism. That's another OOPS concept. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, close out all this. So there's, let me just close all. So again, what you can do is whenever you have multiple files open, you can just right click and just go close all. Let's just close everything. So go to SRC new package and polymorphism. There you go. So what is polymorphism, right? Polymorphism means many forms. Okay. And and it occurs when there are when you have many many classes and they are related to each other uh, and they many times they will use the word extend and and whatnot and there are there are two types of polymorphism you could say uh, one that happens uh, that happens at a at a runtime and other one that happens at a compile time okay um, so let's actually write down a couple of this stuff so you guys will have this. Holly more is um notes right so polymorphism polymorphism means many forms okay polymorphism means many forms and with polymorphism, it happens either in, you can have, again, as I said, it can happen in either compile time or during runtime. Okay. Now, those are the main two things, right? The compile time is when you have. Compile time is method overloading. Okay. And then runtime is method overriding. Okay, so I know this may or may not make sense to you guys right now, but we will get, we will provide some examples so you guys will understand this uh, pretty soon. So what is the main difference, right? Let me just explain the main difference so you guys will understand this. So there's over, overloading and over overriding, right? Overloading. Okay. Overloading takes place is basically um, same method name, but different parameters. Okay. And then over writing or writing is same method name and same parameters Same method name, but uh, same method name, but different parameters in the same class. Okay. Parameter. Same method name, some parameter, 
in but in different paths. Okay? We're gonna go over this. We're gonna go over what, what this actually means. Uh, but this is what polymorphism means, and we're gonna go over all this thing. Uh, compile time and the runtime. So overriding is, I'm sorry, overloading is, C O M compile time. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create a couple of classes. Oops, not not enum. We're not gonna do work with enum right now. Let's go ahead and create class. And let's go ahead and create let's create a dot class or yeah, let's go ahead and create a dot class and let's go ahead and create a cat class. Okay. Um, and in this, in this doc class, in doc class and the animal class, but right? in this doc class, let's say you have public void, let's say bark. As out, right? And again, whenever a dog, dog goes woof woof, right? That's that's the thing that they're gonna go. And then, let's say, and whenever you have cat, right? Public void. And let's say, um, I can say the word sound basically. Sound is this sound. Right? And they'll say meow. Right? So again, <clears throat> dog is going woof woof and cat is going meow, right? Usually that is the normally, that's that's normally how, how it would be, right? That's typically how it is. Now, let's say, now let's say for, for the overriding, right? Again, if we go back to the definition for the overriding, <clears throat> It happens in, I'm sorry, uh, for the over, overloading, same method name, but different parameters in the same class, right? So what I can do, again, I can also use the word extend over here as well. Um, yeah, if I just create another class over here, I'll just, it'll be better. So let's say we have a, an animal class, right? In the animal class, we have public void, um, public void. Let's say we have the word sound over here as well. As out, I don't know, let's just call it animal sound, right? No, whatever the case is. Let's just say this is generalized animal sound. If this is the generalized animal sound, what would happen if I go ahead and I'll extend it Right. If I extend it, uh, I'm sorry, I have to extend animal. Yeah. 
right? If I don't have this here, if I don't have this here, let's show you guys. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and create another class that just says uh, uh, main class, main. Okay. In here, if I create an object of this, of this dog, 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 oops, equals new dog, right? If I have this, now if I go dog dot, right? Uh, this sound right here. I don't have anything over here, by the way. I don't. I I just commented this thing out. So by default, because I have this main class, right, and because I extended extended the animal, so it should say animal sound. So if I run to run this thing, see, it gives me that animal sound. Okay, so it gives me that animal sound. But again, for dog, it is not. I don't want it to be just a regular sound, right? I I want it to be I want it to be specific to this thing, right? So again, uh, if we go back to the definition, same method name but different param. I'm sorry, um, I apologize. So it, it's actually over uh overriding and there, that happens at the runtime. So same method name, same parameter but in different class. So what I can do over here, if I just uncomment this. Right. So as you saw before, it was just giving me animal sound. Right now, I have this oof oof, right? So if I go back over here and if I still run this thing, it'll automatically change. Okay. This is happening because I'm overriding it, right? I'm overriding what I have over here. I'm overriding it with this. Again, you may also use the word override. Uh, you don't need to, it is not a requirement, but you know, it's good practice if you want to use that keyword, overwrite. So overriding, again, overriding is this, it happens at the runtime, same method name, same parameter, uh, but in but in different class, okay? Okay, I don't have anything, anything difference over here. I don't have any, any difference over here. Now, if I was to go to the cat, right, and I have this, Again, I can also do the same thing over here at override. And this has this sound. Again, the reason it's giving me this error because I don't have any of those, right? I didn't extend from the animal. So what I can do over here, extend animal and that'll just go away, right? And I have this. So if I go over here, if I go over here and I created a cat object as well, cat, cat equals new cat, I have cat dot sound. And again, that if I was to run this again, this is overriding. This is overriding during uh this is overriding during the runtime. Runtime is whenever we are running this thing. Okay. Now overloading in the sense, overloading what would happen. Let's say I have this sound, right? This is the animal class. If I have this sound, if I was to copy this again. Right. It gives me the error. Obviously, I cannot have the same name. But over here, if I was to um, if I was to let's say say um, uh, int num right, whatever number of time they say meow meow something like that. It's uh, you know. If I was to do that, it is not giving me that issue anymore, right? Now, let's say I created a four, oops, that's a lot of everything, four, I plus plus, let's do this, for i equals zero, i is, let's say, less than the num, i plus plus, right? And I have this print out in here. Okay. Now, if I was to 
save this and if I go back to the main class and I have this car uh, in cat sound right I can do cat dot sound and then you see this now I have both of those options available sound and this int num so over here if I say let's say five see it just repeats meow meow five times okay so if I uh here let me I'm just gonna say new meow okay so that way you can see the actual differences. And run this Java application. Again, new me always see this. It printed out five times. So here, let me just try to explain this again. Let me just close this out. So what's happening over here, right? Polymorphism, as you can see, this happens two of them, right? Overloading and overwriting. Overloading happens during the compile time, okay? Same method name, same method name, but different parameters in the same class. So as you can see on this cat, right? Same name, public void sound, public void sound. So again, same method name, but different parameters in the same class, right? You're still in the cat class, right? The only thing is on this one, public void sound, I don't have anything over here. In this public voice sound, I have int num, right? So, so this is basically the compile time, okay? This is the overloading. So this thing right here, this is overloading. Overloading. Overloading sound method. Okay? The sound method, this sound they're overloading the same class. Whereas with the overriding, overriding, even though on animal class I have this sound, but I have, I'm also getting this sound over here as well. So I didn't change anything, right? The only thing I changed is the sprint statement, the public voice sound right here. There is nothing in here, this is blank. I have it blank over here as well, right? I have it blank over here as well. So I don't, again, I said sound over here. I don't need to have sound over here. I can have something else. If I if I didn't even have this thing, right? I I didn't really need to put this in here. I could have said sound one, two, three, or I can say eat or or whatever the case is. It really doesn't matter. I can here, I can actually create another one over here. Um let's say public void eat. Right. Um and s out. Let's say eating cat food, right? And then over here, I don't need to have sound over here. I can say eat over here as well, but you know I have it. I have this as int. You could say, I don't know, food is good. I don't know. Cat doesn't talk. Ah, uh, but anyways. You know, again, this gives me error right now because I don't have this. This is not applicable anymore, right? Because I have eat right now. So right now, if I go eat, it goes away. She goes away and I was, I was to run this thing. Food is good, right? So you just print it out however many times you wanted to. It, it's fine. But again, the main thing is with the method overloading, it happens in compile time, same method name, different parameters, as well as in the same class, just like I have it on this cat. Okay, just like I have it on this cat class. On this cat class. Whereas with the overriding, it happens during runtime. Right, it happens during runtime. Uh, and I can have the same method name, same method name, same parameter, but in different classes. Like in animal class, right? I have this public void sound, which is being extended over here. This extend keyword extended over here. And you can have this public void sound, but I just changed this thing, the print statement. I just changed that instead of having animal sound, I have this dog. So yeah. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. If this was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you, everyone. And if you have any more questions, please do let me know. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.